Hey everybody, today I want to go through the Alfred upgrade process. I'm going to upgrade or try to upgrade from version 4.7, which is I believe what I have right now. We'll see that in a moment to version 5, which is the new version that they have out. And yes, I will uh, pay for a license on the video. All right, let's gonna get started. First, we're gonna see uh, what current version of Alfred I have. So we're gonna do command spacebar and then command comma. And yes, right here is the most current version. Um, 4.7 so we're gonna um, we're gonna upgrade in a moment so we're gonna close this we're gonna go through an email that I received from Alfred support so we're gonna close this and then we're gonna go to my email here it is so we're gonna get a license from here And I'm going to select this email. This will not be seen in the video though. I won't show either at my work or personal email. Okay, so I have to upgrade or see my license let's see if i can get that somewhere let's go to the power pack view license key And go back to Alpha page, paste it in here, and see upgrade options. Hmm. I'm going to go with the single user. Type my name. And go there and then download Alfred 5. And we're going to go to the download uh, folder, download it, and I think it should be done. Yep, here it is. I believe 
believe that's it. I'm a little concerned though because I have Alfred 4.7 running and it didn't do anything different than uh, show um, moving the icon to the applications folder but we'll see so I'm done here I'm actually going to use um, the finder instead of Alfred this time just because I'm going to uh, need um, to see how to replace Alfred 4. Okay. So begin setup. It needs a power pack. Okay. Let's see um if we can get that from back from the email. step I actually think everything's okay here but I'm not sure I guess we'll find out later so I'm gonna say skip the step because there's no uh, select later option so I I'm thinking everything's fine Okay, start Alfred. Huh, do I need to remove Alfred 4? I'm going to close this now. I'm going to close well, I'm not going to close Safari just yet, but I'm going to uh, go to the Applications folder. Systems applications. Okay, just go to applications. Here we go. Whoa. I see Alfred four and Alfred five. I'm gonna see if I if something happens if I delete Alfred four and Alfred five stays. Now I'm gonna close this one. Hmm. Still, Alfred seems to be functioning okay. And uh, let's check out the. I don't know. What do we check out? Uh, workflows. Here we go. They all seem to work just fine. I don't know. Uh, working with um, workflows, we'll have to wait for another video. But 
it seems to be uh, working fine. All I had to do was um, pay for a new license and install the application and all I had to do was delete um, Alfred 4. I, did, I don't know if I even needed to do that, but I did it anyway just to stay on the neat and clean side. So, what you do is you pay for an upgrade if you already have Alfred for the license. You install Alfred, um, the application, Alfred 5, and then um, once you go through the permissions and the setup process, go ahead and delete uh, Alfred 4 by only by uh, hitting uh, command delete from the applications folder and it should move it to the trash. Don't do um, the app cleaner process because that might uh, break something or delete a folder that you need as a legacy to run Alfred 5 properly. Um, let's see if uh, UD works. Um, I guess it does. Yeah. Try tree. Hugger. Yeah. And uh, workflows seem to work. There you go. So you've seen a workflow in action. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you install Alfred 5. Alright, that's Alfred 5 for you. I'll see you all in the next video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment on what you think of this video. Alright, and share with people who might find this video useful. Alright. See you all in the next video.